From the Top of the World by Steve Jenkins At five and a half miles high, the summit of Mount Everest is the highest point on Earth. For climbers and scientists alike, a trip to Mount Everest is a physical, psychological, and spiritual challenge. This excerpt describes some of the preparations involved in climbing Mount Everest. The Roof of the World Rising between India and Asia, the Himalayas are the highest mountain range on Earth. More than 1,500 miles long, the range includes many of the world's tallest peaks. The highest of them all, Mount Everest, stands at the border of Nepal and Tibet. Its summit is 29,028 feet above sea level. Nepal, a small country that borders India, is the home of the Sherpa people. Tibet is an ancient country that is now part of China. People in Nepal and Tibet think of Mount Everest as a holy place full of power and mystery. Kathmandu, when you arrive in the bustling capital city of Nepal, you'll collect your gear and meet your guides and pay for your climbing permit. If you're lucky, you'll have time to pay a visit to the Monkey Temple, one of the many Buddhist religious sites in the city. Sherpas and other climbers often make offerings here before beginning an expedition. Kathmandu is also where you'll begin the long trek to Mount to Everest. The Sherpas since the first British adventures came to Nepal, a group of native people known as Sherpas have worked with climbers as guides and partners. They are famous for their strength, climbing skill, and honesty. Sherpas are born and raised in the mountains, so they are accustomed to the altitude and can work well high on the mountain. The Sherpas are Buddhists and are very religious. They consider the mountain sacred and won't start up without a puja, a ceremony to ask the gods for protection and permission to climb. Home away from home, Mount, Everest, Mount Everest's severe cold, high winds, and heavy snowfall make the climb possible only during a few weeks in the spring and late summer. During those times, as many as several hundred climbers, guides, doctors, Sherpas, cooks, and others live in base camp, a tent city at the foot of the mountain. Waiting here for your chance to climb the mountain helps your body to acclimate or get used to the lack of oxygen in the air. The summit. When you stand on top of Mount Everest, you are the highest thing on earth. For most people, reaching this point is a reward for years of hard work and planning. You can't stay long, though. Your body needs oxygen, which means getting back to a lower altitude quickly. Because you are so exhausted, the descent is one of the most dangerous parts of the climb, so you'll have to be very careful on the way down. Discussion Questions What did you learn about climbing Mount Everest from this selection? Number two, why do you think Mount Everest has religious meaning for the Sherpas? 